I want to read you something. This will be for my Patriots page, Patreons page only. I'm not going to put this on YouTube. I'm going to read this directly from the news because there's been people are arguing back and forth about the fourth town square. Always wanting to know if there's going to be a fourth town square. And I've said several times that yes, there will be, there has to be, but the developer is keeping it a secret of where it's going to be. And maybe he doesn't know where it's going to be right now. I don't know that. But let me read the official announcement report. This came out a while back, but I recently found it again, and uh, I'm going to read it to you. And like I said, this will be from my Patriots page only. A fourth town square south of State Road 44. Now, State Road 44 is the main highway that goes in front of Brownwood Town Square. At a town center, town square, it's uh, the road that goes in front of uh, Brownwood. So it says a fourth town square south of State Road 44 is part of a 30-year road construction agreement approved Tuesday by the Sumter County Board of Commissioners. In other words, the, the developer is getting together trying to, to get the road construction plan for the ins and the outs of the neighborhoods down there. And they need to know how many miles of roads and they have to submit a plan to get it approved for the money and stuff. And uh, so part of the agreement was with the commissioners, they said, before we approve these roads, we want to be assured that you're going to have a town center down there. So that's what's happened. The town square's location is not specified on a map of future road construction, but the agreement also calls for the village's land company and the village's development company to build roads and then be reimbursed by the county. In other words, our developer is going to pay to have the roads and stuff put in and then the county is going to reimburse him or us our money back uh, for the cost of the roads. Signed by Kelsey Morse Manley, manager of the Villages Land Company, and Harper Boone, manager of the Villages Development Company. The agreement also states that the Villages Company's plan to build a 432-acre industrial park south of Coleman. You know, if you watch my videos long enough, I've said that they're going to build an industrial park somewhere south down there. I don't know exact place, but it's, I know it's going to be south down there somewhere. It's just something I think that people buying homes, they just should know this. Uh, which tells me uh, that an industrial park is going to have a lot of truck traffic in and out. So that also tells me that where the toll road, 75 toll road that goes down through there, or Highway 75, whatever. I don't know if that's a toll road there yet, or if that's I-75, but whatever that interstate is right there, there's going to be an exit right there and an entrance right there, getting off the toll road and getting on that toll road. I'm just guessing that because it makes sense for semi-trucks to go in and out off of the interstate to get to that industrial park to, to load or unload and then they get back on that interstate to go either north or south to go pick up their next load. So I see that happening in the future. The villages of Southern Oaks and the new industrial park will together provide significant employment and economic development, the agreement states. Uh, well, the Southern Oaks, probably because they're going to have that um, agricultural thing there. I forget what it's going to be called. I think the developer is going to own that. They're going to grow a lot of fruits and vegetables there, and it's going to be called something. I forget the name of it. And uh, those fruits and vegetables are going to be sold. Uh, some to local restaurants and probably anybody else that wants to buy. It'll be like a, a farmer's market kind of like thing. And that's going to be right there. So they're probably going to hire people to work there. That'd be my guess. The villages owns most of the land south of State Road 44 and has completed a transportation plan for the area, although most of the land is in Wildwood. The county is responsible 
for most of the roadway network. According to the agreement, the villages is required to develop the fourth town square or town center, a comparable lifestyle mixed use retail center solely within Sumter County. You hear that? Solely within Sumter County. It's important to know that because there are a lot of people telling you that when they build the, over toward the Leesburg area and stuff like that, they they're, guess they're all rumors go wild around here. That they're saying they're going to be the fourth town square is going to be over there because it'll bring in a lot of business from Leesburg, blah, blah, blah. The agreement says solely in Sumter County. Leesburg is not in Sumter County. Uh, with aggregate regionally serving commercial square footage is similar in size to the existing town centers located in Sumter County, Lake Sumter Landing and Brownwood respectfully. So it goes on and on and talk about the roads and where they're going to be and how they're going to be, which you're probably not interested in all that because it's a long article, but the town square. So when you talk to people or you hear people say that uh, there's not going to be a fourth town square or you hear these rumors about it's going to be way over by Leesburg or it's, the rumors go wild. I've even heard some people say that the, uh, the real estate people said it's never been announced that there's going to be a fourth town square. Well, it's a lie. Right there it is. I just read it to you. Uh, that's the second time I've, I've mentioned that. Uh, like I say, uh, it's on a YouTube video. Don't know which one from a while back. Um, I can't keep track of all of them. But just from my Patreon page, I'm letting you guys know that's the official word. There is going to be a Forest Town Square. We don't know where it's going to be yet. Nobody else knows where it's going to be yet. And if a realtor is telling you that it's never been announced that there's going to be a Forest Town Square, well, then you heard it here first. Yes, there is. So, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good day. I'll see you on the other side, which will be the YouTube side.